Hello YouTube, I am Pinstar, and this is Endless Legend Strategy and Tactics, Episode 5. So in our last episode, we uh, went and explored our northern region and uh, picked out, uh, meticulously picked out, a city location. I think we were about to settle it, but uh, we also uh, took a look at the pacification quest for the minor faction up here, and that has brought us to down here the uh, Defender of the Weak, but the ruins are near uh, our city here, so we're going to actually have the garrisons take a swing at them uh, with some updated equipment, so we'll see if it's enough. Didn't realize we were wandering into the Kazanjis, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll find out if we can survive this, so uh, wish me luck. All right, let's see what the terrain's like here. They, they got a lot of forests on their side, but we've got initiative. See, see what I'm talking about? In investing in all those, uh, in all those initiative trinkets and all those initiative armors. We get to go first, and that is freaking huge. That is going to, uh, that's going to pay uh, off very, very handsomely. Okay, so first deployment. We want to make sure our guys are in place and able to strike. Um, sooner rather than later. So we want. Uh, oh, and hey, we got our we got ourselves some city city tiles. Uh, city tiles give your units a big morale boost. So I think what I'm going to do here is yes, this is the city tiles not on the high ground, but it's a city tile, so it gives them some some big boosts there. I'm going to have you go here, and you're going to go run around and flank them from behind. You guys are going to sit here in the city tile and just face off with them right straight on ahead. And then our uh, warg buddy, why you get a little bit closer? You've got a speed of four, so uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can you can get yourself into this forested patch. That way we got two guys in, a fo in forest patches, one guy in the city, ultra high morale. Um, and we're all wailing on one of them who is not in the forest. So their other guy is going to have to come out of the forest, uh, possibly back into the forest depending on where he strikes. Um, but at the very least, we can kite them around a little bit. Um, or at the very least, we can burn one of them down uh, without any defensive nonsense. But let us do it. Oh yeah, we got our militia reinforcing eventually. Nice. Alright, so who's actually going to go first? All right, the warg's going to go first. Yes, we do want you attacking them and... I'm going to have you run to that tile and attack from there. You guys run to that tile. I know that's probably where they'd go anyway, but I don't really trust them. You guys sit tight and attack there. And you guys... Now you're not going to be able to get into, play, into range for, uh, uh, for that. So you know what? Why don't you move up here? Because them being next to a friendly unit improves morale. Well, granted, they're not gonna, that's not going to be a, a factor in, in the first round of combat, but it still helps morale later on. So uh, it'll be a good stepping stone while we wait for them to uh, get in range of attacking. And because Militia is so weak, sometimes the best use for them is to make them adjacent units so they can get higher morale. And look at that! Bam! Chance. Ooh. And then I open my big mouth and he does a crap. Alright, well, you know what? We took a really solid chunk out of that. And look at that defense. And they're gonna they're gonna be nicking all my units here, but uh hey, 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 I told you to go in the city! Ah, uh, you derp. What the heck are you doing? I told you to go in the city! All right, so now, but they have made some tactical errors here. Some beautiful tactical errors here. Now, they are not only both out of the forest, but this guy's on low ground. So, I think it would behoove me to have my ice warg run through the forest and punish him for that. So, and then, why don't, yeah, why don't you guys go here? Right here. Actually, no, they can't make it through there, but you guys can. Yeah, get to the high ground and smack them from behind. Alright, I'm good with that. Yeah, one, two, three. Gets the high ground attack. 
And actually, why don't, instead of telling you where what tile to go on, I'm hoping that since these guys go last, if there's anyone left alive, they'll wander into the city and poke at whoever's alive from there. And you guys, yeah, you guys just stay where you are and attack. You guys are perfect. Look at that! 121 damage from the high ground, and now we're going to be beating on him. And he's not even going to be back. Ah, down to two hit points. Maybe the militiamen can... Hey, 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 hey! You... Uh... Are you serious? Serious. All right, yeah, let's let's go to the low. All right, come on, militiaman, finish him off. Do me proud. There you go, Kazan, a mighty Kazanji murdered by the militia. All right, now at this point, it's all. Uh, we'll just tell you to go here, and then everything else is just swarm tactics. Love these ice words. They are uh, they are paying off in spades. All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And 13 experience points for the lot. And a uh, pacification. Sweet. All right, guys. Back in the garrison to uh, lick your wounds and heal back up. I guess that's one of the reasons why I'm glad I'm not the Broken Lords, because I get free healing. Alright, and now with this uh, village pacified, we don't need to worry about wanderers, and we get an extra free worker upon uh, establishment of the city. And uh, just doing one more check. I know I did a lot of hemming and hawing but uh, last episode, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. Makes the most sense. Um, mill Foundry Seed Storage, Emerald Extractor, even more, I always like to build my, my, my external extractors first just to remind me to build them. Um, alright, that's good. Uh, you guys are woefully, well, Growing City needs to have itself, it's, uh, um, some extra workers here. We are unhappy. Mm. All right, we're gonna. We're. I think we're gonna stop expanding. Not that we have much of a choice. We've. We have run out of land to expand into. Uh, but you know what? Hey, that's fine. You know what? We got ourselves a good, uh, a, a good four four um, region empire here so far. And um, blues looking like they're gonna be a little bit uh, pressed for space here. Uh, they're not really doing much with their capital. Here. I mean, their capital's still sitting on one tile. So I think uh, I think we're in a good place right about now. All right. Ah, yes, we can buy, we can do more borough streets. Let's, ah, more boroughs we shall. Now we have uh, this is what I'm talking about the radiation symbol. So we went one over and picked up these three tiles. We went uh, one up here, picked up these three tiles, and now we go one down here. Uh, if this tile belonged to me, I would pick it up as well. But you know what? It's worth it just for the room. And then afterwards, we can uh, we can just place a, a um, tile on pretty much any of these three open spaces, and that will make the city center a uh, level two district and give us honey bunches of influence and other lovely stuff. Also, we're going to want to work on the right of way. Uh, I will I will work I, like I said because we shifted all our guys off of, uh, off of uh, production. Um, our stuff's gonna take forever, but really I'm just keeping people in money long enough for me to start buying the things I want, i.e. the heroes and other upgrades. Speaking of other upgrades, we can do that now uh, with these guys. Might as well retrofit the guys uh, that my hero's rolling with. Since uh, the others, uh, yeah, that, that Drakenling Drakenling Ice Warg is a good combo. Especially with the hero who's uh, ranged uh, and who can heal, so I think it's a good uh, good unit makeup. Um, now for adding a fourth unit, uh, I would probably throw in another ice war. I'm probably not going to get the wyvern because the ice war kind of fills that niche. I am, however, going to grab the agent ancients. 
does, yeah, one does not neglect your uh, ranged unit, uh, your two ranged unit. And the ancients are pretty badass. Oop, am I missing something? Nope, apparently not. Good enough. Alright, we got ourselves that Burrow Streets. And yes, the long overdue seed storage. And our long overdue, well, uh, yeah, four, four turns for the seed storage. We'll let them finally get that. Oh, and how you, how you're doing your seed storage. Excellent. Um, and then after that, yeah. three turns from Diplomat's Mains. Um, so uh, we still got that going for us. Got those ruins. Uh, yeah, let's do a sweep through our lands here to pick up our uh, our forgotten ruins. Just so that we can uh, grab those and not waste the benefit. Alright, building our money back up steadily. Keep getting distracted with buying things. I really, really need to not pay any dust um, and go ahead and get that governor hero. Because they're really important, especially for a city this big, because there's a lot. See, look at that! I'm making so many emeralds, I, I, I have no, no, no reason not to just keep reactivating them. <laughs> we'll just keep a permanent boost going there. Might as well. All right, 70 dust. Actually, yeah, all this all this dust uh, income is uh, pretty good for me. And some grass silk. Uh, trade routes, not bad, but don't have enough, and that's a more advanced one anyway. Oh, yeah. All right, um, in this particular case, you know what I'm going to do? Um, since I am... I mean, I guess I could send out explorers, but that's kind of risky, because since we're at Cold War, they could attack me at any moment, and I couldn't attack them without formally declaring war. Uh, I mean, I really, if I really wanted to be aggressive, I could try and squeeze a settler into this neutral territory over here. That's going to cause more problems than it solves, so I don't think I will be doing that. Um, but no reason to waste the benefit of your hero, so... Since I'm uh, saving up for an, a governor hero over here, might as well make uh, our hero a governor hero right here at home. Um, I am going to want to... Uh, well, I'll update their their stuff once, uh, once I get um, uh, the second tier research done for armors. And let me see. Uh, let me remind myself of their equipment and skill tree here yeah so they're they're really better suited for combat and that's kind of how i'm building them um but you know what while while you're waiting while you're resting no reason not to um now our accessories yeah we don't have any uh, any economy boosting accessories you need the actual resource dependent accessory upgrades to get economy boosting ones and we skipped that for the first era but we are going to get the improved armor because um, it does, it comes with the armor research. Uh, but we, hey, we get food boost one, so it's a little something. This is again, it's just a temporary assignment. I also realized his equipment's way out of date. Uh, but you know what? I'm not gonna spend the money until uh, until later. Actually, after diplomats mains, I think I'm gonna go for the improved armors, uh, just so I can get the uh, the equipment going. Alchemical armor is what I meant to say. Yeah, I think that is the next. Yeah, that's the most. That's the next most logical uh, thing to go for. Nine turns. Hmm. All right. Well, it, it's worth the price of admission. Uh, speaking of price of admission, can we afford heroes yet? Uh, most of them. Now, the nice thing about heroes is you don't have to necessarily go with your own race. I mean, they're available, but others, you know, they'll work for you too, even though they're not your race. Um, so what we're looking for here in a, in a governor hero is um, 
statistics in terms of boosts and efficiency. Uh, science boost one, nice, but it's only a one. We want we want high boosts. Uh, influence boost one, nice, but not enough. Science boost one, nope. Food boost two and influence boost three. Now, now we're talking here. Now, now we're talking. Um, well, let me see what else we got here. Food boost, blah. Dust efficiency. Now, dust efficiency is, um, it boosts the uh, productivity of workers on dust rather than uh, dust uh, in the surrounding area. Uh, let's see, dust efficiency three, food boost one. Hmm. That's tempting. Let's see who else we got here. Uh, in dust industry efficiency, that's, uh, that's tempting. Uh, I wish you had it. If you had industry efficiency three, I'd go for you. No, nothing there. And dust. All right. So it's dust efficiency three, food boost one, or food boost two, influence boost three. Mm. That's a tough one. But you know what? I think I'm going to go for this one. So I need to wait another turn. And then go for food boost and influence boost. Influence, I mean, we're already going to be making a lot of influence, but we, we have the ability to really leverage that influence, so it's going to work for us. Speaking of, let's see if anyone's interested in peace treaties. We don't have our, we're not ready for trade routes yet, but might as well get the, actually, you know what, I have a better idea. Let's, uh, let's make things a little cheaper for us. Not that, let's, um, let's send him a compliment. Because complementing them uh, reduces the price of future, um, of future uh, peaceful and, and cooperative actions um, in terms of influence costs. So if we complement him now and maybe wait 10 turns or so and then ask him for peace, not only will asking him for peace uh, work a little better, it might actually uh, make them a little uh, more inclined to accept. So let's compliment. Um, now you, miss, you are mildly jealous, Common Frontier. What, what's your the envious Common Frontier? Let's see, yeah, mildly jealous. Now the question becomes, do I want to befriend them? Because if I'm going to take somebody over, it's not going to be red. I'd like to trade red, because those look like some really nice, long, profitable trade routes uh, to be had here. Whereas blue, not quite as uh, profitable and more, you know, immediate uh, of a, of a pro uh, blockade to my expansion here, honestly speaking. So, you know what? I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to be uh, too nice with blue. So we're just going to friend it up with, uh, with red. Maybe we can get red in as an ally later. Or at the very least, Red will... The one thing, uh, the other reason I want to do this is uh, so Red does not get the uh, inclination to bar, but ban me from the markets, because that is highly annoying. Alright, so uh, one more turn, we will get our uh, our hero here. Uh, what are you guys doing? You guys oh, might as well sit in the capital for, for a while, get uh, get our frontier nice and defended. Granted, Hod is uh, kind of open, but trying to defend that through diplomacy, not through... Uh, not through force, uh, so we're gonna keep on keeping on here with our um, our stuff. Grab an in empire men. Plenty of dust uh, to be harvested in their locale, and they'll be growing soon anyway. All right, level six. What do we got up here? Last reserves, more life on units, not too bad, but you know what? I like I like this initiative one. I'm gonna go for level three in this, just because uh, I it, it's just initiative is so freaking powerful. This is the reason why I value value glass steel a little bit more than I do titanium, because glass steel equipment is the stuff that boosts your initiative, whereas titanium gives you more raw power. Um, and I'd rather, I'd rather um, be able to go first because that allows you to tactically place your units more often than not. 
All right, Ficklewood, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Uh, I think you got a fourth unit coming for me. No, is it going to be a Dracoling or is it going to be a uh, nice ward? That's a that is the uh, that is the question of the day. Let's go for a nice ward. I like the nice wards. The uh, actually no, we're we're gonna we're gonna go for right away here. And then we'll go for the ice ward. We've got enough on our in terms of defense. Let's get our economic engines going here. Yes, Kulch. Um Let us. Our hero. Let me just make sure this is the yep, influence boost three, food boost two, dream come true. Bye. Ching. Nothing really to assign in terms of equipment uh, yet, but that that is coming in a few turns, and I will certainly update them. Yeah, plus one food on terrain with river. Um, well, we might have to grab that one just as a, uh, as a prerequisite for some of the juicier ones. But, yeah, nonetheless, nonetheless a side hero. Well, bam. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. Food boost. It might not kick in until next turn. I I started my timer a little bit late, so I'm not actually entirely sure of the running time. Yes. So I'm going to end the turn here and end the episode here. Um, so if this is a slightly shorter one, I apologize. Whoa, Nilly! What the freak, frag, framet is now you guys doing here? You guys already have a six size army. Oh boy, all right, so in our next episode, are they about to declare war on us, or are they just passing through? Find out uh, next time. So uh, if you like this episode want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave me a comment. Your feedback is always welcome, good or bad. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!